hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today is a day 28 and the problem is counting bits so given a no negative number num for every number i on in the range from 0 to num including 0 and num calculate the number of ones in their binary representation and return them as an array so for example num is 2 so we have to calculate binary bits like number of ones in binary representation of 0 1 and 2 so in 0 is 0 1 is 1 and 2 representation is 1 0 so number of 1s into representation of binary is 1 similarly for 5 we have to calculate for 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the representation of this 0 is uh, 0 1 is 1 and 2 is 1 as we already calculated here now for 3 we have 1 1 and 4 we have 1 0 0 so and 5 we have 1 0 1 so this is 2 1 2 respectively so this is a very simple problem so we can solve this problem using the way we used to convert the decimal number into the binary number so let me start implementation like basic first simple brute force implementation first so we need a result array so that result array will hold the result of all the number of bits in all numbers between 0 to num number of ones in so this will be num plus 1 because we have to include 0 and all. after that I will run a simple loop from i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to num and i plus plus and there we I will get result of i is equal so I will write another method which will count set widths and I will pass the number i for every and in the end we need to return result array so here our method private this will return integer number of set widths which is count method name set widths and it will get a number and here we will check let's create another variable count once where count equal to zero so we will use simply math this what we use to convert so while if n is greater than equal to zero until we will check if n mod 2 equals to equals to zero uh, one in that case so we have found so reminder is one we will increment the count and reduce the n by two divide n equal to n by two and in the end we will return this count return count so this is the way six impl implementation let's try to run our test case and compile the thing so compiling and test is passing let's try to the second test example which is five let's put another example just in eight so the code is running so it is compiled and let's see the diff so we are getting the whatever expected let's submit the our solution so this is accepted so this is very basic brute force solution you can say so the time complexity of this solution time complexity of this solution is like for every number we are scanning this number n and also we are checking the size of this number n so this is the o of n size of n size of each number into size of each number size of each num number so this is the time complexity but there is a follow up in the problem so for the first one we already implemented now we need to think on how can we optimize this in o of n possibly so for doing that let me write down the binary representation of few numbers here few numbers of the starting numbers so let me take this so the binary representation of 0 is 0 and which has number of ones 0 so here is a number in the first is number and second is a binary binary and third is a number 
of set bits okay so here i will let me make a tab okay so this will go here yeah so this is for zero and for one we will have binary representation one and the number of side bits is one for two we will have binary representation one zero and number of side bits we will have one similarly for three we will have binary representation one one and we will have number of side bit two then four four we will have binary one one zero zero and the number of side bits again one for five num binary representation one zero one and the number of side bits are two and uh, six is one one zero number of side bits two and for seven we seven we have binary representation one 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 and the number of side bits are three so and let's eight last and the uh, one zero 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 and the uh, number of side bits one so as we can see if is there any pattern to get the a number of side bits in j a of jth number with respect to any of the i number where i less than or equal to j and greater than or equal to zero so is there any pattern so if i see for eight if i divide by two i am getting four and four also has one bit so this four also has one bit and if I look for 4, if I divide it by 2, it has uh, this 2 and which also has 1 bit. Similarly, for 2, if I divide by 2, it is 1. So it has 1 bit. So we I am getting exactly the 1. So if the number is the pattern we are getting here, if number, if number is basically even, we just get from the num so number of side width number of side bits in number is same as number by, by two and let's see for odd what is happening for odd if i see for one if i see zero so divide by two and plus one is one yeah for three also if i divide by two it's one integer division so one and then one plus one is two yes for seven if i divide by two it's uh, three three two plus one is three so for odd number so for odd number it is like number by for odd number n it is a number by two plus one number of side width and the number by two plus side width. so this is the pattern we are getting so we can write like dynamic dp recurrence like dp of i dp of i is equals to dp if so i mod 2 if i mod 2 equals to 0 if i mod 2 equal to 0 is simply dp of i by 2 else dp of i by 2 plus 1 so this is a dp recurrence so recurrence so let's implement this our dp recurrence. so this will be give us the result in o of n let me just copy the method definition from here and comment out this whole section so this will be commented out here and let's write the again the code for our recurrence solution so this will be this so here again we need a result array result array this will be new int of num plus one and then for each int i is equal to zero and i less less than or equal to num i plus plus so our result of i is equals to result of i is equal to if i mod two is equals to zero then simply result of i by two i by 2 otherwise otherwise result of i by 2 and plus 1 so this is here and in the end again we need to return the result array so this is the solution let's try to compile our input test cases and the custom test case so let's see the diff yes it is working so it's, let's try to submit this optimized solution 
so yeah it's it's accepted so this is also a correct optimized solution so the time complexity of this solution is o of simply n number num we are running or o of n you can say so we are and the space complexity is also the o of num we are using storing the results so this is that's it so thank you if you might like video please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for future upcoming videos